Hey everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within, a classic now Iron Man series. On the last part, we shot down a UFO. We did all the tutorial stuff, but I think there's still going to be some mild tutorialization. I considered redoing the parts as like without the tutorial because I didn't need it, but I thought, screw it, we'll just do it. It gives us like a, a leveled up soldier anyway for the like the cost of doing it, and it gave us some meld. If you're enjoying the cutscenes as well, I know I skipped most of them. I'm I'm sorry. I'll, uh, from the future, I'll try and delete them, but. Basically, we're at the point where we were in the Iron Man series anyway, so if you missed any of that, just go to the Iron Man series and you'll get most of the same stuff. Anyway, let's send the Sky Ranger to this UFO. Right. Rookie Jackson, no. We have a promise here. Johnson Johnson is finally going to go on a mission. Or support? Did I build a med kit? No. I have a scope, though. I think one of these guys will take a scope. And it's probably going to be Johnson. You take the scope. Give you a bit of extra aim. UFO mission. We ha don't have the arc thrower. So we're not going to catch the alien. And our facilities aren't built anyway to contain it. So let's not worry about that. We're just going to try and kill the outsider. And not get people killed. It's been so nice having an episode. Or like a few parts where you know. We haven't had several people die. Ignoring the first tutorial mission where three people have to die. But the things which I've made decisions for, we haven't got anyone killed. Just extremely injured. But I'll take that. Gravely wounded. That's a positive in my books. Apparently. Right. Okay, we are in... The middle of the map. Which kind of scares me a bit. So I might ear towards one side. Uh, I like trees. They're full cover. That seems pretty sparse on cover. I think I'm going to go up the left side actually. There's a few more fallen trees and stuff. And Circle B or support is going to move forwards. I wouldn't mind dashing on the first turn into this full cover. Okay, that gives me a pretty good vision. Enough so that I'm happy to like dash into this half cover. Same with you, dash into half cover. And then our run and gun unit, let's put you on this flank. Oh again, sorry, apologies in the background because you're going to be able to hear my fan going off. It's like in the 30s at the moment in the UK and I'm in a small like tight office. And if I don't have a fan on, I just will sweat to death. I'm honestly just being steamed in here in my own sweat, which isn't pleasing. So, for my own personal reasons, I've put on the fan. Right. Anyway. This is kind of scuffed right now. I think I'm fine when I get to, like, here. But there's not very nice cover here. So, Johnson, can you just move to there? Okay. That's literally where the aliens are. I think Johnson is now going to just immediately move back to where he was before. But I might just rocket launch these guys. I'm not going to lie. They're in a kind of awkward place. Let me see what we can do. So I think I'm going to be taking lots of half cover here. Who am I going to kill with? You know what? I'm just not going to mess about. This is a good enough rocket for me. Kills two aliens. I have grenades. Valen might get annoyed at me for blowing up sectoids, pistols. Nah, they didn't. Okay. This saves Johnson as well from any potential harm. Cool. I'm going to go to Overwatch here just in case someone's wandering around. Uh, yeah, you can watch too, sure. Even though it's going to be like a sniper shot with a shotgun. Right, that's one of our big tools down. Someone asked me in the comments uh, on the Impossible playlist, like, oh, there's a melt canister. How, like, how not to play XCOM, but, like, what are good tactics? One thing I mentioned is, like, like, I could dash now into this gap in between these two units and I wouldn't gain any more vision. I think that's kind of a powerful play. But the other thing is, like, guaranteed damage is so powerful in XCOM. 
So, like, rockets and grenades early on are incredible. Ignore Valen when she's, like, saying, like, uh, Officer, can you please stop blowing everything up? Early on, especially on Impossible, blow everything up you can. If you can get guaranteed kills with explosions, do it. But anyway, now it'd be dangerous for me to dash forwards and use another action. Because I'd only have three actions because I dashed one person. So I'm not going to take the risk. Especially without my rocket launcher. As we progress into the game, I can go more and more aggressive. Because I can deal with, like, one unit not getting a turn. But right now, I can't really. I would really like to get the melt canister if I can. Especially if there's no alien here. I think Johnson is going to be my guinea pig, unfortunately. Drop for you, Johnson. Okay. Can you see anything from here? You can't. There is a flare over there. Weird. Now that I know this, I know that I've got vision like in this area. So as long as I don't move someone ahead of Johnson, I'm fine to dash. So I think I'm going to dash into this gap. Because there isn't a lot of cover around me right now. But other things like I'd save, I normally like save certain units to move last, like the support, for example. Because if all everything goes wrong, I can always make a smoke grenade and throw it onto one of my units, and you know that can be like saving someone. In XCOM 2, there's the drone, like the defense drone thing, which is so useful to have like as a last resort. Like if you have a unit in half cover or something. And, you know, you're fighting against people with, like, snipers and so on, or, like, pistols or rifles. I don't know why I said pistols, I meant rifles. Then, the, the drone in XCOM 2 is so good that it provides you with defense. And I sort of treat the smoke grenade the same way. Anyway, Johnson is now going to move up to the melt canister in full cover. And you are going to grab it. And I believe this is still acting as full cover for me. Yes, it is. Right, Abby might as well just move forwards now. But, like, I've done two maneuvers now. I could make an aggressive maneuver here to put Johnson into double full cover. The alien craft is still intact. So I see the UFO now. Yep, it's down here. There's probably pods inside the UFO, so I'm going to move my camera around to here now so I have a better view. That move gave me slightly more vision, so it was a bit of a risky move. But from now, I'm kind of happy just to, like, take the half cover here and, like, you know, the cover behind and something. And I'm not going to pop apart. It's just like, the game is basically about popping pods when you're ready to. And then trying to kill them as fast as possible. As we gain more and more abilities, it becomes easier for us to deal with pods. But early on, it's so hard for us to deal with pods. Without just throwing a grenade or a rocket launcher at them. Right, here's the outsider. This guy killed three units in my other playthrough. He's in full cover, by the way. Can I grenade you? Because I will 1,000% throw a grenade here. Maybe blow up the cover. Let's do it. We did blow up the cover. That's actually incredible. Panda, move up to full cover. Oh, you're my assault now. I thought you were with someone else. I'm stupid. You also have a shot from there, weirdly. Hmm. Where's Johnson? Uh, Squarey has a 60% chance. I'd really like Johnson to get the sh a shot. Because I think we're also on high ground here, so I'll get an aim bonus. Yeah, Johnson has the scope. 65% to kill. Panda, I'm going to do a really weird maneuver. I'm going to run and gun you to here. And try and get the kill with like a sniper shotgun shot. Missed again. Now, this is where I have to make a decision. Do I take my 65% with, or 60%, sorry, with Squarey B? Or, as I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to play this super safe. I'm going to smoke grenade all four of us. We're all in full cover. He can get a flank off. He might do that. He might get a kill here. But rather than taking a 60% of a kill... I'm hoping to save my units. Well, rip in peace. I'd be the second. Again, it might have been worth going for the 60% kill because he was always going to go for the flank here. That's what you get if you miss like a 60% shot continuously. Right, you have a grenade. I don't have running gun with you anymore, which is unfortunate. You might as well take your 32% because I think I'm just going to grenade now. 
You know what? I should have run in grenade. That was actually incredibly stupid. Just launch a grenade. Because the smoke grenade, I don't know what the defense buff is on it, but it's not enough to, like, account for probably 100% shots. And there's still more aliens. But anyway, we've lost a heavy. That sucks. But it's not the end of the world. Let's start moving up. This probably won't give me any more vision. So I'll do it. And then I'm going to overwatch here. And here. Alright, we've used our smoke now as well. It sucks to lose a unit, especially in like a stupid way. I probably should have taken the 60% but I was just trying to be so safe. This potentially could pop a pod. This is very risky. Okay, we see the melt canister. It's going to be super hard for me to get that melt canister. I basically have to dash there. I do have run and gun back. It's, it's not worth it. But dashing here. Yeah, I know. We won't blow it up, Valen, I promise you. I only have one grenade left anyway. And now I'm pretty happy to dash anywhere into this gap, so I'm just going to pull you behind in full cover. It would be a dash there, so I can't actually do it. Oh no, I could. I could run and gun. If I knew where the last pod was, I would consider it. But I have no idea where they are. I feel like they must be in the alien ship somewhere. I think I'm just going to let it go. Yeah, I'm just going to let this go. Give me vision inside, please. So the aliens aren't in the ship. Which is kind of weird. Or at least from what I can say. You might be on the back end of it, I suppose. Goodbye, Mel Canister. Any possibility of audio, please? Okay, let's stand on this corner. Where the hell are these aliens? Uh, dash up, please, Swery B. You're a bit far away. This is one of the most annoying things about XCOM is finding, like, one alien. Or one pod of aliens. Especially without audio. Because I'm, like, in the back corner, I think, now. Yeah, I'm on the corner of this map. They must be on that side of the ship or something, and I just missed them. That's my guess right now. So I'm going to walk through the alien craft. We found the alien. We've not found the alien. Excuse me. To oh, there he is. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to try and set an overwatch tra trap for them then. I really don't want you to break the cover, so... Can you just stay here or something? I'm pretty happy to run and gun this as well, so this is the last part. Are they moving or not? I'm hoping they get vision on me. No. Oh, you scumbags. They're actually pretty far away to aggress on. And there's no full cover here. Can I sneak up on them? Like if I walk round the ship this way. Very quiet. We're hunting sectoids. Nah! <laughs> Elmer foot impression. 
Okay. I can get full cover there, and I think this will give me vision. I'm okay with this. It doesn't. Okay. I'm still okay with this. That will 100% pop the pod. I'm just going to move here. I'm just going to be careful. Because now I know that I can go here with you and not pop the pod. Right, everyone's in position. Next turn we do it 100%. I would love to get some high ground cover if I can. But I don't think I can. I think I'd pop this with Square B by moving to here. Okay, we're going to be doing it on the next turn then, apparently. <laughs> Just, this is so stupid. They don't know. They don't know. Uh, can you pop it from here, please? There we go. Uh, I hate to break this to you, but... We sort of have that flank covered, and we've killed your mate. The most guaranteed thing... And you know what? I want to feed Johnson the kill if I can. Johnson, I don't care if you're in cover or not. You're on high ground. This should be a flank. Please get the kill. Okay, that should be a level. Hopefully Johnson levels into a heavy. We got one of two meld canisters. That is a positive mission in my books. Uh, we got another sniper. That's actually fine. I like snipers. Uh, sorry, Abby the Second. You were unable to do what your mother did before you. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. Yeah. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. Oh, I know. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts. And it's likely we'll suffer some losses uh, in the process. Can I move them now, Shen? I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know well, where they are. Also, Shen, why do you have two holsters with nothing in it? will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to... Do you not like have a multi-tool or something, Shen, or... Goodbye, Commander. You know, why, why haven't you got tools? Okay, cool. Can I now get satellites and stuff? No, I don't have the money to. I would like to build another satellite just to start covering the map. Uh, I think we're going to manufacture a med kit though. That seems pretty prudent as well. Then. Oh, I launched my satellite I have at the moment. Why did I think I was doing something else? I don't remember. Okay, this is fine. Everything here is fine. Let's get to the next mission. Yes, assign new research. Thank you. So we have to capture an alien at some point. Uh, I would like beam weapons, please. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. Because if beam weapons are insane. I will notify you when a complete reporting. Shut up, Valen. Alien containment's up now, so the arc thrower throw story is useful. Alien containment facility online. But I'm not going to rush this pathway yet. Normally what I do is like tool up first and then start like knocking out the missions one after another. I think that's a pretty strong way to play the game. The Arc Thrower is pretty useful though for things like Impossible because you can stun units with the, the Arc Thrower if you don't capture them. So It's not a bad thing to get but I think I'm going to not get it right now and try and get beam weapons very quickly. Right, our council report is due fairly soon. Uh, Kuznetsov is back. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do now, sorry. I want to transfer you to Asia. Because I've got a satellite in Asia right now and I'm not protecting it. I knew there was something I wanted to do with, like, satellites and so on. Okay, we've got an abduction site. Liverpool again. Like, how do you know, like, uh, the aliens from the Liverpoolians? Sorry, Liverpool. New recruit sergeant or scientist? And it's an assault sergeant. Or money. 
I think I'm going to try and get the Assault Sergeant. I would have liked some Engineers. Scientist is also pretty good. You know what? Do I get Scientist instead? A very difficult mission with for four Scientists. Because that will help me research. This helps me kill. This will help me kill in the future because this will let me buy beam weapons, hopefully. Give me the money. I've ummed and ahed. I think I'm done. Okay, this is going to be our team. We're going to do this in the next part. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.